Thank you, Lily. Hi, everyone. My name is Kaylee. I am the Junior Giants Assistant for the Fund. Um, and let's just get started by talking about who we are. So who is the Giants Community Fund? Um, the Giants Community Fund is the official nonprofit and charitable arm of the San Francisco Giants. The fund uses baseball and softball to promote health, education, and character development among youth in underserved communities. And one of the programs we do this through is Junior Giants, which you'll hear more about in a moment. Um, the Giants Community Fund is entering its third year in partnership with AmeriCorps. And AmeriCorps is a network of community service programs funded by the government and community partners like the Giants Community Fund. Um, while service programs exist to help strengthen communities, you as a member would provide your contributions as an individual and really just have the opportunity to gain service, service experience and increase you know, life skills like organization, time management, communication, all those great things through service. So now I will pass it to Miguel to cover the different programs that the Giants Community Fund offers. Thanks, Kaylee. Hi, everyone. I'm Miguel. I'm the Junior Giants Vista. So Junior Giants is a baseball and softball summer program for kids ages 5 to 18. Um, it's free for everyone. It's non-competitive and it's co-ed, so it's fun for everyone to join. Aside from the fundamentals of the game, Junior Giants aims to introduce important lessons in character development, confidence, integrity, leadership, teamwork, education, health, and bully prevention are one of the key focuses. We're approaching our 28th season of the Junior Giants, so we're very proud of that. Our newest incentive is our Junior Giants schools. We recently launched the Goals to Reach Youth and to make it easy, as easy as possible for kids to play ball. In this case, it'd be during their PE classes or in after school programs. Another great program our Junior Giants have is our play ball events. They are one day clinics hosted by various Junior Giants leagues in the springs, to help recruit new, former, and future, you know, participants to our summer program. And I'm gonna be passing it back to Lily. Thank you so much. Now here we can see really what the, the associate will be focusing on junior giant schools and the play ball events, which is why traveling is required to support these programs. The spring ambassador will begin at the same time as the associates and also assist with the junior giant schools and play ball events throughout their term. There's gonna be more details to come later on through this presentation. The summer ambassadors are more like the traditional role that our alumni panel served during their time with the organization and the Junior Giants program. We'll discuss the roles more in depth, but we'll now focus on the perks of serving with us this spring and or summer. Passing it back to Kaylee. Awesome. So let's talk about the fun part, which is the perks. So joining our team allows you to kind of kickstart your career in the nonprofit or sports industry like it has for many alumni, including those on this call today. Um, while we're speaking of alumni, those that serve with us form a sort of community of hundreds of other ambassadors who have served in the past um, and really have the opportunity to build their network. You'll receive professional development opportunities to help refine your skills and better prepare you for whatever's next um, after your service term. You'll also receive a biweekly living stipend provided, um, provided by AmeriCorps and also an education award um, after successful completion of your service term. Um, your unique background would really help contribute to the conversation and you would have the opportunity to voice ideas for accurate community representation across the state. Um, a really fun perk is just being able to attend special events with Giants guests and other fun opportunities at Oracle Park and over Zoom. And you'd be representing the San Francisco Giants in your local community, which I think is very cool. Um, now I will pass it over to Miguel. Everyone that joins the Senior Giants team will participate in various virtual trainings and meetings, as well as some virtual and in-person events. All hired AmeriCorps members must have professional written and oral communication skills via email, Slack, Zoom, phone, social media, as well as at the fields and in person with coaches and people. Before concluding the term, we are asked to recap with a formal end of season report where we encourage all members to give a detailed and creatively written report. Passing it back to Lily. Thanks, Miguel. Now we're gonna go ahead and jump into a little bit what the roles are, right? So we're gonna start with the associate role. Um, as an associate, you would be supporting and assisting junior giants in the play ball events in various communities and must be willing to travel up to 20, I mean 50 miles, excuse me. Um, also be creating online content for virtual spring training, the giant on demand and social media platforms, just to mention a few. Um, and also be uh, supporting giants on the go in a virtual capacity. 
In some cases, we'll also be asking some associates to implement in the eight week summer program with the league's uh, commissioners in some of our uh, leagues across the state. Be sure to pay close attention to the summer ambassador role description to understand what additional tasks may be required. Passing it back to Kaylee. Thanks, Lily. So now let's talk a little bit about the spring ambassador position. Um, so this is a new role this year. Um, this um, position will serve 300 hours between early March and the end of June. And spring ambassadors are going to play a major role in, uh, very similarly to associates, um, the implementation and oversight of junior giant schools in various communities, as well as provide support for play ball events. Um, so similar to the associate position, but just on a shorter time frame. Um, spring ambassadors will also um, be required to travel up to 50 miles to support these programs. And then another um, thing that spring ambassadors will help us with is participant recruitment. So you'll be, as a spring ambassador, reaching out to local news agencies, community programs, churches, youth programs, et cetera, to get the word out about our summer program. And Miguel is going to talk a little bit about our summer ambassador position. So the summer ambassador will be implementing an eight week summer program with the league commissioner, like conducting community assessment reports during preseason, assessing with preseason meetings, recruiting, training and onboarding volunteers, attending all games and practices, distributing incentives, equipment, uniforms, program materials, et cetera, maintaining online registration platform, organizing, including assistant with registration and monitoring background checks on volunteers, collecting parent, volunteer, and player feedback at the end of the season via online surveys and in-person interviews, mm -hmm. distributing tickets, assisting with end of season inventory, uh, recruiting participants, managing existing social media accounts assigned to the league with partnership with the commissioner and, and assisting with preseason meetings. And back to Kate. Thanks, Miguel. So just as a recap of the differences between the positions, because I know it can get confusing. So the timing of the position will vary depending on which position you are interested in. So the associate position, again, is the 675 hour service term from March through August. And then the two ambassador roles are both 300 hour service terms, but just different timeframes. So the spring ambassador is March through June and the summer ambassador is May through August. Um, associates and spring ambassadors will help in the spring with virtual spring training, play ball events, and junior giant schools. And then summer ambassadors will be assigned to a local league to assist with ground level operations in a community. Um, they will all receive stipends and education awards, but they do vary depending on the service term that you serve in. Um, ambassadors and associates are service members rather than paid employees and are compensated via that biweekly living stipend and the education award at the end. Um, there is one exception for out-of-state ambassadors. So for ambassadors who are serving in Medford, Carson City, and Reno, um, it wouldn't be an um, it wouldn't be an AmeriCorps service term. It would be more like an employee of the fund, but we could talk about that if that is something that applies to you. And now I will pass it back to Lily. Thank you so much, team. So uh, today's panelists for our Ambassador Spotlight event are alumni who continue to create change in their community with their work and dedication. Uh, Annie was with the Junior Giants for a season and is now the Logistics and Operations Coordinator with the San Francisco 49ers Foundation. Haley Walker was an ambassador for two seasons and then a Junior Giants intern at our front office. Today, she is a Marketing and Development Manager at Real Operations for City Kids, also known as Rocks, and uh, has a contract with City Surf Project as well. Our third panelist is Vanessa Gonzalez, who served three seasons as an ambassador and is now the public affairs manager of the, Gi of the Golden State Warriors, excuse me, just down the street from Oracle Park at Chase Center. And Rima served as an ambassador for a season and today is a behavioral health clinic uh, clinician at Turning Points Community Program, working in mental health in the mental health field. So, good evening, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, I am so happy to to have you all here today. It's such a pleasure. I'm just going to go ahead and jump right in for the you know time uh, because of time. Uh, what 
does community service and organization mean to you and how do you give back to the community through your work? Let's go ahead and start off with Annie, if that's all right. Hi, everybody. It's so nice to see you all again. I'm really excited to be here and thanks for having me. So um, personally, one of the things that community service and organization means to me is not only is it my career, but also I'm really fortunate that the work that I do now in my career affords me that opportunity where um, every single day I'm using my skills and I'm using my talents to help others. Um, so through my work at the 49ers Foundation, um, we're the nonprofit arm of the 49ers. And so we help to educate and empower Bay Area youth through our direct service programs and our legacy beneficiaries, which are local nonprofits. So my role in particular, I'm helping out with event planning, um, collecting registration, helping with game day logistics and operations to help raise money at these fundraisers to then donate back to our community and invest in our community as well. So it's really exciting and it's not necessarily working directly with our beneficiaries, but it's a great perspective of fundraising and um, development and knowing that your work is going back in the community. That's awesome. Thanks, Annie. Okay, we're going to pass it along to Haley. Want to just give us a little bit of like how you're, you know, giving back to your community to your work. Yeah, of course. First, thank you all for having me. Um, it's great to see so many familiar faces, so many people that I've worked with. Um, I think that I knew during my last quarter of college that I wanted to go into nonprofit work and that sort of solidified my involvement with the fund because that was actually my first season um, with the Junior Giants as an ambassador in Salinas. So I knew at that point that that's what I wanted to do. And I realized that my skill set was really valuable in fundraising and in um, project outreach. So as a marketing and development manager, I'm doing all of the communications that come out of Real Options for City Kids. And then I'm one half of the development team. So it's a unique situation where our executive director and I are doing all of the development efforts. So that includes grant writing, meeting with corporate partners, um, hosting volunteer events. And then um, I know that Lily mentioned, I do contract work as well for another youth or youth organization in the city called City Surf Project. And I actually started out as a volunteer running their social media pages. And now I'm on contract with them um, just because I think that my strongest skill set is storytelling. And through fundraising and through outreach, I really get to tell stories. And that's sort of what my passion is. Awesome. Thank you so much, Haley. For time's sake, we're going to go ahead and have Vanessa and Rima answer our next question which is what part of your experience as an ambassador has been the most valuable to you in your career? I, I can Start with Vanessa. Yeah. yeah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> um, honestly, I mean, just going through the whole presentation right now, I'm realizing as an ambassador, you do a lot, right? Um, you think about all the different components and how that really plays within our day-to-day -day roles now. So I look at like, uh, you know, we're, the, you know, the, we were told do surveys, you know, at the end and the beginning and, 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 and see the impact on there, realizing that that's actually exactly how you can give back for the following year, right? Where can we make improvements? How can you really do impact? So um, realizing that at an early start in my career made me really look at different organizations that I've worked with working up to where I'm at now and saying the impact. So just really looking at the different uh, duties um, that uh, the ambassador program gave me and in the larger picture and strategic planning. So um, very, had a very good experience on that. Thank you for sharing. Rima, do you want to go ahead? Yeah, um, so nice to be here and so nice to see so many familiar faces. Um, so, you know, being, I started with the Junior Giants in 2017, and that was right when I was at, getting out of my undergraduate. Um, so it was nice to, you know, get some experience working with communities from various economic um, backgrounds and also getting to work with people of all ages. So you're working with parents, you're working with people who are leading these teams as well, like the people who run the parks with the county. Sometimes I was dealing with Merced County's um, parks and rec individuals and 
dealing with these kiddos as well. So, you know, you are looking at communication with them. You're talking about their health. Sometimes there was different things that we talked about, like mental health. And it really influenced my work now where I work for a nonprofit um, providing crisis um, support services to individuals who are providing, who are requiring them, you know, have a mental health crisis or needing some evaluations and interventions. So it's very helpful and it's very advancing for career experience as well. And I definitely recommend it for anyone who's interested Thank you. I think you all definitely touch upon a lot of the, the skills that are needed and can further develop in this position, um, which is very, you know, appreciative to later down the line. All right. So our next question would be, um, what advice would you give yourself before you started uh, your first season with the Junior Giants? So I'm going to go ahead and pass it along to, to Haley on this one. Yeah, thanks, Lily. Um, this is a great question because I was an ambassador for two seasons and I wish that going into it, I had really just um, like, like let my guard down, you know, um, going into this, I think it's important to be vulnerable. I was working in the Salinas community and I think that I was aware that, you know, I didn't grow up in the neighborhood I was working in. I grew up in a neighborhood, you know, 15 minutes away. And I think that if I had gone into it being a little bit more vulnerable, my first season might have been a little bit, um, you know, just, just off on a better foot. I'm not saying my first season was bad. It was awesome. Um, but it took some time for me to get to know the families and um, the commissioner. And I think that, you know, once I kind of just broke down those barriers, like the first week or two, it was just it was just so much fun. And I would just encourage you to really be a servant leader, really figure out how you can be, you know, the best you can be in your community, wherever it is. Um, and just, just go for it and don't hold back, ask questions. Don't be afraid to, to look stupid because you don't know the answer to something. Just really go in there, like with your whole heart, wear it on your sleeve and get to know your community. Because I know that I have, this amazing relationship with the families still to this day like a lot of the parents you know they were friends on Facebook and they want to know what I'm up to and I want to know what their kids are doing and and it's a really great feeling to have that sense of community that's great Vanessa do you want to go next and then Annie and Rima for the same question what advice would you give yourself before you started your first season with the Junior Giants I think my advice would be don't compare yourself to other leagues. Every league is different. Um, every league has different successes in, in their own way. So the best part is adjusting to the community that you're placed in and making it authentic on that, on, on that end. Uh, there, there was times where I didn't have as much numbers as other, other, other leagues, but um, it's, it's about the quality of work, right? You have a goal and you're given a goal then use the resources that everyone else around you, now this new structure that, that that's around and um, use that and be innovative and ask questions. And it's okay, because you might not be the first person in, in that that has had that league and um, you can get you can get support from there. So it's it's that is definitely just make it what, what integrate into the community and, and not compare yourself. I think mine would be just to take initiative, you know, make sure at any opportunity you have volunteer. Um, if there's something that you think you could change and make an improvement, bring it up. This team is so wonderful about listening to ideas and allowing you to be creative and really just working together. Like take that opportunity to take that initiative and, and, you know, speak up or volunteer. And even with taking initiative of reaching out to families, there's a lot of following up that you have to do with either your commissioner or your families. Like, don't be afraid to follow up. That email reminder will make a difference. So don't be afraid to reach out and um, speak up whenever you can. I feel like my advice would have been to myself was to go in with an open mind. You know, I feel like there was, you know, there was a lot of duties, but it was so rewarding in the end and knowing to be mindful in the experience, spending the time with the kiddos. The kiddos loved when individuals would go out on the field and play with them, whether it's just batting for, to be silly and, you know, interacting with the parents and the parents, you know, really enjoyed talking with the ambassadors about what was going on. 
as well. Another advice would be, you know, reach out for help if you're confused about what's going on. Um, and I wish I'd have known that in the beginning, but as you know, reaching out for help was so much more helpful, whether it was to other ambassadors who are also going through the same thing, which sometimes you felt like, no, I'm only going through this, or even reaching out to any of the other people that were providing support, like the commissioners and stuff. So um, definitely, you know, be open to what happens and being mindful with your time with everyone there. I can honestly just say as I mean I was when I was an ambassador myself all these points are just so valuable I could echo all four of you thank you so much for, for that um, I just want to remind our our viewers if you have any questions please feel free to put them on the chat we're very happy to to ask that you know within the time frame um, we do still have six minutes so our next question will also be for everyone we're going to switch around the order so we're going to start with Rima um, it's going to be, uh, what is the most, what was the most rewarding part of your experience as an ambassador? I feel like the time I got to spend with all the individual participants, which whether it was the kids and the parents, um, I made some good friends, um, friendships with individuals and I still have them followed on um, social media and checking in on each other. And even, you know, they live nearby as well. So, you know, I will run into them um, at the local supermarket. So that was really rewarding, just the connections I made with people um, and also the experience overall, like this desk position had so it was so diverse from my other jobs and internships that I've had and getting that experience was very valuable to my career and just overall just personally as well. I think the most rewarding part for me was definitely what Remo was saying the networking right the networking and meeting people but to be to be completely honest it started my sports career it 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 made me who I am today and understanding so much. There was even times like I, I, I debated on coming back a fourth year and I had to really push myself not to because I was like, All right, I need to really explore other places, but I wanted to come back because I enjoyed it. I was given so much responsibility where I felt like I was owning my space. And, and then you go somewhere else and like, wait, I'm not owning this space anymore. But you have such, a, you have this experience and you build it up until you get that opportunity to where I, I got a full time. But I, uh, the, the biggest thing was my, my start to my the sports career, I would say. Yeah, to echo Vanessa, I credit this being an ambassador as to being like the turning point in my career. Like I was pretty sure I wanted to work in sports, pretty sure I wanted to work in sports philanthropy. And I like this solidified it. I knew I wanted to do this. I was so sad when my term ended. Like my friends were like, oh, are you excited that you're going to be done? I was like, no, I want it to last forever. Like I'm really sad. So um, this really was the turning point for me. And it was just rewarding working with the kids. I mean, I did it during the very first junior giants at home season when the pandemic had just started. And there was one point when we were all doing jumping jacks in our living room, you know, we're not together, but we were together on zoom and I couldn't stop smiling. Cause I was like, here we are doing jumping jacks in our living room, but I've never felt so connected to other people and connected to these kids and the smiles on their faces and the excitement to come to a virtual practice is palpable. So this, this position really is a life-changing and very rewarding position. Um, my response is twofold and both things actually led to where I am now. So the first is being an ambassador gave me the ability to see the ground level impact, which a lot of jobs you'll never get to see. You'll never get to see the difference it makes for the children. You'll never get to see the smile on their faces when they get their hats or when they get their reading prizes. And I think that was huge for me because it made me realize, okay, community work, nonprofit work, that's for me. The second rewarding part is that it led to my internship as the Junior Giants intern, and that was, you know, developing as a professional and realizing that I also love the other side of it. I love being behind the scenes. I love being able to tell the story. And both of those things together really made me um, appreciate being in the sports world, but also appreciate the way the sports world and the nonprofit community interact together. Like I saw Vanessa on Sunday night because Rock's kids got to go to a Warriors game. And so my my paths and my connections keep crossing and I know I'm exactly where I'm supposed to be. And to be honest, I can't take on a third job, but there are times when I consider being an ambassador again because I love it so much. Um, I know I, you know, I live close enough to a league that I can be a coach. And I think that's what's next for me because it is something that I love what Junior Giants does. And I think that if you want to serve your community and you want to do it through sport and love of the game, it's the perfect way to get started. 
we would be lucky to have any one of you as our coaches or back in our league. So Haley, it's like music to our ears. <laughs> okay, we do have a question for uh, Annie and Vanessa. Uh, it, um, how excited are you for having awesome seasons with your teams right now? Annie, I'll let you touch it because you're, you're feeling it right now. I'm very excited. I'm so excited and nervous for Sunday, but yeah, it's, it's been a blast. Um, and we're just, you know, we're all, we're all rolling with it. We're having, I mean, you all felt it. I mean, this season too, you guys, the Giants had an incredible season, but it's been really fun. Um, I'm excited to have that, the feeling. I mean, I know we're, we're winning right now. And I, I think for me, it's just bigger, those bigger moments of like Curry's uh, you know, shot the moments, all those things have been something new for me this year. Uh, I've gone through a championship uh, and two championships before. So I'm, hey, bring it on um, in May, June, let's bring it on. And hopefully Annie can bring one too. That would be great. Uniting the Bay, that'd be so much fun. <laughs> all right then. Well, um, we are at time. Um, I just wanted to thank the panel so much for all of you for joining us, for what you're doing in your communities, for your advice to our potential applicants, um, our new AmeriCorps Ambassador and Associates, and for just being here today. We truly value your insight and, and everything that you continue to do. So thank you so much for being here tonight. Uh, we'd like to also thank all, all of you who were able to join us today on Zoom and Facebook Live. We wanna thank you for, for being here, for asking questions. We hope that you learned more about AmeriCorps Junior Giants Ambassador and Associate position and that you apply for the positions uh, available this season. And then finally, I wanna thank my team, Bailey and our Junior Giants, you know, rest of the team. Thank you so much for everything for today. Um, and well, we hope to see new applicants for, for this season. All right, so yeah, everyone take care, have a good one. Thank you.